right next up here. There's no sounds. Uh, really nice fluid animation, clean posing, some cool 2D effects, and a fun ending there. Cool. So if I go back here, what I like about this is the attention to detail with this slight move already. There's not a lot of detail going into that, but then that's cool. I like that it just has that bigger move led by that arm. And because you move that arm, it pushes that body over for a little bit of a weight shift. Just has a really nice, clean body mechanics feel there. And then as you go into this with that anticipation, nice drag there. You can see with that nice line into that, that really bends those legs into that. And then as many people do, adding the 2D effects in there. Nice little stretch, clean line in that. Again, the breaking of joints here for this. And I like how it just stays. It's already looking over there, getting ready. I love this here. It's a nice, really nice feel of that clean pose. And then we're gonna stretch going into that, forming this. And I feel like the only thing here, this is all cool. Watch this again from the beginning. It's all cool. It almost feels like this is a bit too slow. I always feel like you want to go up here and go into that sooner. Because I like the rhythm here. As just something where we hold this for too long. Subjectively. All right. I'm saying this. <laughs> you might watch this and go, totally fine. Totally fine. That's the only thing. It just kind of loses its snap in that moment. But as you've seen in other clips, you got that pose going out. Nice drop in the toes there as well. To a clean pose down into that. Lots of 2D stuff here. <laughs> I like I go straight into ah, into that pose. Now this might not be completely in character, but I think we kind of need to maybe lean that head and start a Y rotation. Not that it has to be like a complete lead with the head in terms of I'm gonna look over there to drive that ball over there. But something it just maybe a bit strong. I <laughs> love this here. Tongue out into that. And since there are 2D effects here, just like in, in a previous one that I looked at when it exits out this, it would have been cool to get some stuff coming out there. But I do like that it comes back in with this. And again, we got 2D effect here. The cool thing too is that it's not just willy-nilly adding 2D effects, but you have, you have to think about, this comes in here. There's all that momentum going this way. All that goes this way. So when this hits, there is rightly so the flow of that smoke continuing to go this way. It's not just, let me just add something here that dissipates in every direction. It has the overall flow of going this way, which is, you know, this might be not important to someone, but I like that stuff. I like that there was thought put into that as well. And even that far away, boom. I like this. You got a really big squash and stretch in this here. Real clean poses. It helps with that color silhouette here. Ba -ba, landing into there. Probably I'm gonna put this piece maybe over here, all the way there. So you don't have that darkness here, right there where um, the top part of the costume is. You kind of lose those legs a bit. Same thing, maybe a bit of a lighter background to not lose that section there. But it just has an overall really nice rhythm, really clean body mechanics. By clean, I mean, it's, I just like that. It's not just an arm moving that then is only affecting or nothing on the body, which is the arm moves. You got to think about you move that arm over. That's going to obviously affect the shoulder. And if you move the shoulder, it's going to affect the chest. And because you want to move over there, it has that nice lean in the body to then come back into this and into that move. I just like that everything really feels like this is the way the body would move. Nothing feels CG isolated where like I said, if you have, especially in this case, an arm moving that, there will be no animation there. Unless, of course, the style is super stylized and limited, and then it's okay. But in this case, I like how all of this works together. Nice holds and the squash here going down. Just enough. This doesn't feel too fast. It feels just right in terms of weight going over. Hold a bit for the change of direction to come back. It doesn't betray the weight of the character. Yeah, the only thing to me would be, this feels just... I was lingering a bit too long in this section, their floatiness. Maybe it's because we want to see this turn and build, but I'll take a couple frames out of that. And that's really cute. And then just maybe pushing this a bit more, like I said, with the head. But that's all super cool. That's it. Next up here, we have a kind of like a less is more type of thing that is absolutely fantastically successful. 
as I critique things and talk about things also in terms of my students and my, my content online, I always talk about sets and backgrounds and all kinds of things that will potentially help you with ideas and acting choices. And I love that this is basically just a character in an empty scene. And I love that. This goes straight into my folder of really, really good animation that I want to show my students and everybody else where it, it shows that you don't have to have a set of crazy props. Yes, there's a staff. Yes, there's this that that is part of the shot. But you have already there's a very concentrated look, a nice clean silhouette. It totally works from the posing. And then you have that slight adjustment with that nice kick out on the leg that goes into a hop there with really nice timing and also a lot of the detail in the clothing there into that, which is again here, whoop, into this. You can see there's also a lack of motion blur, so it has a bit of a rougher type feel where it's almost steppy. But I love that look into that. And then what's really successful, I mean, I love this. It's before we go into the actual main animation of the character. I love all of that. A nice little, someone else had a tweet effect with highlights on the bubbles. But it has nice, I love those little extra bits. And just that stuff is just so cool to look at. And it blends in well. It has just a nice flow into that drop. And even how it holds that squash on the drop, if you watch this at the end. Just, just enough of it. It actually works almost better with the loop as it squashes. Then to come back, if you watch this, right? It's played in the loop, loop, and then it comes back. But all of that works really well. But what I like about this is, A, the flow is really nice. The timing is really nice. The poses are clear. You have a nice hold there to go into that. Again, clean posing. But the big thing is that, this is someone else had that in a different shot as well that I looked at where it's kind of squinty in terms of, you got the concentration, the eyebrows are low, but everything here, close the eyes, which also cool. Not a lot of people have the characters close their eyes for that long. Big compression of the eyebrows. Everything is always kind of compressed and smaller. And then it's there for contrast when this has to happen. Just wouldn't be as effective if you had always bigger eyes so you have that nice pop in the life how um simple it is and not simple as in badly done but it's just less is more it's just a really clean contrast of just those eyes getting bigger and you can see if you go back and forth how little it's moving in the character otherwise but you have a slight little eye dart down and then that little bit overshoot in the eyebrows to come back you can see the little change in the mouth as well it's just really really well done clean so as much as i like all kind of stuff in the background and following and camera moves and i love all that stuff and i love animating all that stuff but when you just see something that's just clean and really nicely done focuses on really beautiful movement and you can tell this animator can animate terms of the mechanics the timings there the, the the timing and the the spacing is there all really well done and i love the extra tiny little thing at the end of that boom just those eyes there so yeah many 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 elements here that work really really well and that's why i wanted to take this clip uh and highlight that one all right thanks all right let's watch this in full there's no sound <laughs> minus some sound effects here <laughs> and <laughs> uh -huh. all right not that those sound effects are making it better now this clip i'm picking this one not because there's anything to critique in terms of the animation because i think it's really cool i mean if you go through you have a good moment of even a little bit of a keep alive. I will probably give it a little bit of slight complexity in the head. This is like super big. It kind of goes up in one axis. And you could potentially just kind of go a bit of a, huh? a little bit of a twist in there. And maybe offsetting these where these are not so opposed to pose. Where all of that just opens at the same time. Other than that, there's always a clear view of the face as he goes back. I love the shapes here where you have that where you really feel the drag the silhouette is clear you got a good anticipation with big squash and then stretch i love that it goes out and we linger to still see this with the little bits and pieces there for nice little detail and then comes back out to reframe kind of lead the eye and the camera up there i love that push shapes there comes down good camera work and then the same thing here we can frame through you can see that big stretch and how that really feels like it's it has like enough weight and mass to really feel that compression that's great great lines great drag and all of this i like that at this point it turns but it's still eye on the prize you can still see the eyes never obscured even at this point you still see one and again 
nice shapes there it's really nice poses and then into that with that little look and it's not just an eye opening but you have a little time of relaxation here and the head turning i think all of that is really cool the reason why i'm picking this is because of the rhythm i do like it starts off slow and it goes into into just enough of a quick to give it a nice energy and then you hold just for a little bit of a pause and then and i like that i like the rhythm of and these coming out so it's not just him but you have those set pieces those ground pieces here then coming in and then that it's a classic thing of big event happening slow with that at the end but i like it it's very effective i like that it ends on that really nice pose and as we linger and as he's not moving there's nothing crazy happening here that will us uh will distract us from not seeing this like, that's what i like too about this the direction of lots of stuff happening here cool shapes with this and then as we hold and nothing is moving the eye can comfortably go over there to do this it could be interesting to do maybe on this little bang on that maybe it cracks a little bit or something a little piece goes ping towards him and that almost leads the eye back to him it would kind of land here but because the eye went over there we're ready to look at this this would be super picky but that's kind of that i started to pick this one just because the rhythm is cool the animation is really cool the poses are cool but I'll, and the camera work is great too i just like the rhythm of it it has a nice contrast and timing good texture and good leading of the eye for that last event thanks Alrighty, here is another one with sounds. Let's play this in full. <laughs> this cracks me up. Love it. All right, let's take down the sound here. Uh, the couple of things I want to mention here where I would push a couple of things a bit further. It's also because of the sound design. But I do love the inclusion of her and to have that right there i like that almost this drives the split screen even though it comes from the right i think it might have been almost cool to start in that line the thick line that follows then into like a thicker black line and then goes out left and right this is super picky i was really mad it still works obviously you watch this here and go it's so fast but kind of would have been cool because that rock would be the leading thing and that goes into split anyway that <laughs> love that and then you can see both of them attacking at the same time. And I like that coming in. That already just cracked me off. That was really clever. Now, looking at the animation here, and let's bring back the sound just a bit. I'll be able to go back and forth with the sound here. So first of all, I like the entrance. I'm always a massive fan of whatever element that you have sets up you know, the scene wherever we are, and then you have a very dynamic entrance. And I like that it already comes in with, you might say almost a bit of history. Like she is, there's strain, there might be pain, but it's definitely not a happy face. This comes in telling us something happened before, which is already really cool. And you got the drag in the body, and then she, she, she settles there. Her arms getting the more powerful pose, getting ready there. And you got a little bit of a dart, it's very subtle here. It looks over, nicely done with the eyes, but then also a little bit in the head. I think you could have pushed a little bit then in the eyebrows, just kind of give it an overall change. But I do like that and i probably would have done eyes first a frame or two and then the eyebrows it's almost like instinctual the dart of something that she senses and then it goes over into this but i love that we are using here the negative space with a cleaner brighter area than the rocks right so if you look at this is dark so you got a color silhouette of this coming in looking over there she does her thing and then this happens the only thing here in real time where i feel like not that i miss it it's not like that I'm confused. I can tell it's swinging or it's flying with that and then coming down. But when I watch this here, it feels just a tad fast. It's almost like it's tricky where maybe you bring down those rocks a bit and you have a bit more of a clean silhouette because it gets a bit busy here with all of that going on and maybe having an area of either making that hole bigger or just rocks end here and then maybe continue there. Just something that would have cleared this up a bit and given us a bit of a different thing where maybe it might be higher. And then it does a bit of a dip where you feel like the body goes down, takes the cell there with it, and then goes up into that. Just something where we have a bigger understanding of what's going on. Because right now it just feels like it's already 
I mean, as, you know, as he steers it, it goes up and goes down. I just feel like this is also so close. And then this is covered by that, even though you have a color silhouette. It's just something that is missing. And then go straight into that camera move. So to me, it would have been cool to give this just a bit of a clearer view. And even if it's just keeping what you have, adding a two frames. Like a, a thing of... Just that rhythm of... So we can really tell there's a little bit of a beat of... I'm out, I'm swinging out, letting go to then snap down into this. But this is cool. I like how dynamic this is with the big stretch here coming in. And this is really cool. Well, I was a big fan of that. People really make sure that the character is aware of what's going on. She is still here. So as he comes down, he's still going to pay attention to her. This wouldn't be the head down all the time where it's just kind of concerned about the move only. No, no, he knows what's going on. The move just happens to be there for that moment there going into this. I think this is all really cool. So the thing is, if you listen to the sound, bring up the sound a bit louder here. It's a lot of bass in my headphones. <laughs> So with that much energy here, especially here, with that, we on the sound away. I just wish there was a bit more of an explosiveness in the moves. I mean, you have you have the jump, the nice delay here, and a nice stretch. Although it gets a bit funky with the color, it's very similar, and we kind of see this. But I wish again the coloring would be different. So you have a really cl uh, cleaner color silhouette for that move. We're just starting to miss like at this point we just don't quite know where that leg is no this is fast but even on the frame by frame basis i would try to keep this as clean as you can and then potentially push this where maybe it would have brought up the hip a bit more to bring that leg up and then fah, into a bigger snap down it's already fairly snappy i just feel like it's it's almost casual with that up and maybe it would have been going up and holding this more of a hold where not much moves to really hold this in that clean silhouette here and then bah, coming down and same with this one here once you're down here especially with that base whew, i feel like it would have been cool to really shoot forward where maybe all the cloth gets pulled back a bigger stretch in the body maybe a bit of a more of a down as well so it doesn't feel like up here right and then we're stuck here like visually it's always kind of there and it might have helped a bit to go maybe a little run down up maybe a bit higher than a bit lower on this again close back then to come back up just a bit a bit uh, a bigger effect of coming forward with the body where it's such an explosion through this and that that to me was the biggest thing and then going a little time here it's okay but even this i could probably go lower i mean you have that and you got the stretch but maybe experimenting with spacing wise go here you're gonna pop up a little bit and then you go down down maybe that could have been experiment go lower because then that would have really made sense for that amount of stretch if you if you go even lower to a crazy anticipation to really justify that stretch here to to go up there and then i wonder if you could take out that frame because we still have the body the foot here this already goes up here i'm just curious if it would be from this to that if that would make a bigger impact in terms of really popping out but you do still read this here i feel like that's almost a not necessary pose right there into that that's cool we'll probably keep this arm that amount of negative space right there till the very end so you don't form a, a tangent there but cool pose, all that's cool. She is back in there too, reacting. A little bit of a forward move anticipation going back. That's cool too. Closing her eyes, getting ready into that push. But maybe that could have been, I don't know, I've been a bit out of character, but maybe widening that. I don't know if it needed even a little bit of a snarl and see the teeth, but it feels a bit the same throughout. Besides the eyes closed, it's maybe a bit more strain in there. Yeah, into that. And then maybe if you go here, I know he's got a point down there, but either going lower with the arms and breaking silhouette with that leg and then bringing that leg a bit lower. So it's even more with the foot so that the foot is not hidden here and this is not forming a tangent. 
So if you do a silhouette test there, I can, uh, there's no lights yet, so I'm doing my squinty test where I look at the silhouette, this feels a bit, I don't quite know what that is. So that could be pushed more potentially to either, either lower, arms a bit higher for the fire, or lower to break that silhouette. Plus you have a clean distinction, what is arm, what is leg, with either breaking through or keeping a clear negative space area and then freeing that foot a bit and its silhouette either out maybe this way or whatever you want to do there that's not super elegant without foot out that much but that will be that but again really cool ideas really neat this cracked me up to have her in there for the showdown and the duel here that's all very cool all right thanks next up we have a clip here there's no sound but it's stop motion it's very cool using the sticky bones armature here and that flight rig there bam so cool. Big fan of 2D and big fan of stop motion. It's really neat to see that in action. I really, really like the timing of this. There's some really good sense of weight, especially right here. Rip. Yeah, so cool. I'm, I so never do stop motion. I mean, I did in school years ago. So I don't feel uh, like I should be critiquing this because I can't really talk about the technique and how to do things better. The only thing I would say here is that kind of nice to maybe see that other arm come out here, maybe a bit of a, that's a bit too twin there, but maybe out down there with little hands. Some so it's not super hidden. Or maybe that is the point to bring that arm out. And then, da -da, the other arm comes out. But I really like that, the pivot off the feet here into this. And then moving forward with that slight slipping here into that really nice line of action. It really shows how, how nicely uh, constructed the sticky rig is in terms of with the shape so we can get out of this look at that really nice clean posing here and then my big thing is also giving the character time so you have this back the nice timing there into zoom, boom, just enough hold right there go into this and then I love how long we hold here and go back for the thought to then to go into this I love that it's just a little bit of keep alive there and then we just kind of hold just for a little bit longer so again watch this in real time timing of this going in i'm such a big fan of this i love that little slippage like i said into that hold it's almost like a little bit of a head move there huh almost like a little bit of a oh what's up there kind of examining the area in front and just the timing of this this is a lot of times especially in student work where the animation could falter where you just don't have the right timing of going up with the hold and then coming down this is really successful. I really like this. You got your full extension on the legs. Nice foot roll here. Again, showing what you can do with the rig where you can go into full um, foot roll detail. Then using this to go up and have a nice little moving hold. Going back here, I will probably say could have been neat. Again, I don't feel super uh, comfortable critiquing stop motion. <laughs> it's I can't do it at all. But maybe cleaning up the silhouette and bringing this out and maybe this arm is out this way to clean this up into that that maybe gives us a bit more room for a nice silhouette and then boom, into that a nice camera shake there too and i love this too even the timing of the fall who watches it just has that ease into that move so he's out of that stop he's into that move bam and then having that that and even then the, the animation continues you can see here the maquette turns around to look at us and has that uh oh what did i do type of thing and watch us again and it's very cool also you get a little bit of that in here as it moves the little chain there going up and hopping over out there it's really cool let's watch this again it's not super crazy in terms of you know let's let's to a razzle dazzle with 2D effects, all kind of stuff. It's just neatly presented and clean and really, really good in terms of the posing, the timing, the weight. And on top of that, it's stop motion that again just blows my mind. So, yeah, wanted to highlight that and show that clip just because it's awesome and I love it. Shout out to Sticky Bones. All right, thanks. This one has sounds. Let's play this with sound here. Very cool. All right, turn the sound off. And this one, I picked this one, not mainly because it's 2D, but it's it's a big part of it. I like 2D stuff, but I like 
overall, I like the usage of space where the character starts in this area, but then takes a couple steps to go over there, does a little change to go back over there, then another step over to then go into up and down and have that little bit of a curve out into this and then exit with that. Like that already is just a good usage of space. This is all flat, it's not really a lot of perspective there, so it's good to use that space to move around, to not be locked in one area. Also like the elements here, it's the way this is animated with the liquids, it's really cool. Bam, that's really cool with the rock and then the fire, and then it goes into the lighting aspect. I like that it's very in a dark environment so that the light here on him can really pop out. And then that's really cute into that expression. And I love that we are exiting here where we have all the little bits and pieces with the smoke there. So there's a lot of bigger elements that are really cool. And even if you go in there frame by frame, I like the, there's always a focus for over there, goes up, still looking over there. There's a good, will settle in the body going down. I love how as he goes down, already starts to take the shape here down of the liquid. So cool, love all that. All the little bits and pieces here with the highlights there. With some, somewhere's a light up there that creates those highlights. But I like that, all the little, it, it, the reminiscing, not reminiscing, but remaining curvature of that arc is still in there. Even leaving that out there, even that with that shape, it's a little complex stuff in there, it's really neat. And then you have that flow of this coming out, still moving that part of the cloth, a little attention to detail here. That's really cool. I like the little pow, pow, all of that. The timing of whoo, snapping up here whoo, without squash and then hold. Just enough of a hold to give this. You can see this here. Just that, just that. It's not super stuck in the air. So there's a bit of a moving hold. Bam! Into bah, the really two frames really. Pow, pow. Not in terms of timing, but in terms of just two frames of big poses that go into this and then even this doesn't just immediately go up, but you have a little bit of ease out of that going into this. So cool. Same thing here. It starts to go over there and then bam, into a big move here. Really nice, clean line there to go then up into this. I like how it's uh, even in this, just in that frame, it leads with the head there. And you can see the strain in the face. Then we got into that fire, into this move. Just a nice flow that's cute too with that little accent there on the legs and that just in terms of complexity is that we don't just land and go out in a straight line but you have that little bit of a lean this way while this goes over screen left but then curvature into the exit again all the two effects are really cool nice stuff with the sound we bring the sound back really great so just enough sound design that it doesn't feel like the sound just kind of stops and goes and has those harsh edits it's just enough overlap the biggest edit is probably grab and just ends but it still flows nicely and he's got nice overlap in the sound with the ball rolling it's really cool just really overall really nice presentation nice posing nice action good flow and rhythm Good usage of space and then top of that you have also the sound designs so it's just overall really really well done clip it's really cool all right let's take a look at this one this one has sound <laughs> <Wee. laughs> we yeah. so this one's cool it's always great to have sound in there too just kind of add to the elements of the shot same thing with this one as a previous one that i reviewed where there's not much that really concerns me about the animation. There's some really, I mean, it already starts off with an appealing pose. All that stuff is clear. I think sometimes the arcs could be just worked on a bit where it feels like we're having a bit of an energy going this way, just the flow of that, but then kind of stops and goes straight down. Like little things like that, just kind of make it ever so slightly more fluid. But I like those elements here where you have multiple limbs, you got, you got your streaks there all that is great you got again clean poses the silhouette is nice all of that is great and sometimes again the arcs where it feels like we can just push the fluidity of those moves just a bit more and sometimes potentially avoid stuff like that where we might see the elbow bend a bit more when it gets a bit of a short arm or potentially 
clearing this a bit more for a clearer silhouette on the fingers. But the stuff that I like, and this is why I'm, I'm picking this one too, is that it has really good elements in terms of what's close and what's far away to the camera. So we have a really good look of the main character doing more detail work with the fingers and stuff like that here. And then we can go back where there's more body mechanics. It's a bit wider with the bigger poses and the camera's further back to see all of this, which is really cool. And then I love this, that we go really far out and then you can really push the body poses into really exaggerated work and flow. And I love this. This at the end, again, you have big moves with the body, but then it ends with this going out as kind of like an extra joke. I love this. It's, it's this bigger element. And I love him flying off. The couple of shots where people have, uh, have him roll off, fly off. But I like that, that succession of elements here of close up into a bit of a better view of the body with bigger moves. Now with this, and also nice implementation of 2D effects there, but just bigger moves and the progression of close to far away with a surprising element of this, of him, of him, of that creature, that rock creature here going off. And I love that. So even the detail here of these guys not being completely fused together so that when he starts flying off, there's a bit of a delay in there. In terms of picky things, it could be something where instead of going straight up here, I mean, it's also part of the shake, but even on that flying, it could be something where he could lead into it a little bit. And then that leads the piece there as well so that we can see almost a bit the separation and because of that that piece then goes over the rotation as well to then follow back and then you have a bit more of a contrast of like right now that piece is in this axis for quite some time as you can see so it'd be kind of neat to push that where we lean over there so that piece goes into this 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 and it starts to turn so you have that change in the flight path i think that would be a picky note on this but that's about that i thought it was a really clever presentation of all those elements coming together with this fun ending of that thing coming off in him and especially if you bring back the sounds how he gets out of here <laughs> what we? all right that's it thanks all right let's play this in full there is no sounds but there is awesome animation awesome fights and that is the end Bam, bam all right cool so the reason why i'm picking this one is because a it has cool animation but it also there are a couple elements that work and it's some things i wanted to point out to anybody who's watching this where even on a fight like this where there's a lot of stuff happening a lot of stuff left and right they're constantly fighting there's movements i still would have some moments where there is a bit more of this i love this here as he fights and it's blocked by that you can see that sudden whoa that's not what i expected with that look of surprise if you play this in real time whew, even if it's short you still there's still a reaction to it and some of the things that happen here is that when they fight right there like for instance this even though he closes his eyes i wish that there was a bit more reaction and I know the arm goes back, but something a bit more complex where maybe a side comes up more for a different role. It's just a moment of maybe bigger pain. Just a bigger strain in that moment when they clash. And even on something like this. Sure. Because we are not super close, but we are close enough to see the head. And I like the tilted horizon. It has a lot of energy there. But when you have something like this, when this boom, comes in into him we don't see the face this seems just a bit dead in the face where i wish it was just a bit more even on something like this when then he goes into that it could be closed eyes and a bigger strain in the neck and in the face to get into this and maybe potentially pushing the face more into just a bigger moment maybe again potentially closing eyes sooner to get that big contrast here which is really cool because then when you get into this one does that turn i love this here i love that he looks at him and then looks up it's like stuff like that is great just a few more reactions like that will be cool because even as he turns here he has that ba -ba that's all cool i love all that i love all that smear that bends breaks apart it's really nice swinging a nice momentum in how far back that arm goes but then it feels like just looks to the ground looks to the ground 
looks to the ground and just happens to evade it. And it's, I know it's all short, but I think there's just enough time when you do right through there to do a faster head turn where it's kind of like, and you don't get me, you don't see the eyes, but it would be just a moment of, oh, this didn't work. I need to look up because this guy is coming at me so I can evade him. And even this will be potentially, this will be like, ah, oh, this is a bigger strain. So the open the mouth here. Just really selecting the moments to push reactions and even bigger strain. Again, here it feels a bit, because like he's on the bed, he's like, ah, oh, I'm stretching, I'm about to get up versus, oh, like, you know, like almost the last attempt of a fight. And even this here could be pushed again in the, in the expressions. Other than that, it's really cool. I think one thing that could be tweaked also is in the other guy. Some of the timing where after this, it feels just a bit jumps and then and then goes versus comes down, does this and then potentially a, like a bigger preparation in his arms to anticipate to go back a bit. So it's not just hovering and going forward, but a bit more of a and that way and if you keep the length of the shot by, by having more anticipation there and going back, you can then take frames out of this to make this just a bit snappier. It just feels a bit like a car versus a bigger, bigger attack mode. And that's that. Other than that, it's super cool. And I'll picky notes, subjective notes as always, but this is all super cool. Well done. Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. There's no sound. Awesome animation as always. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And da ding. <laughs> All right, lots of cool stuff here. So right off the bat, what I like about this is that as you go from this, there's already an expression there. It's already in character where it's not default. I mean, yes, you have somewhat of a twin pose that, that is part of the pose there. And then going into that already shows a lot of contrast. You already have a little bit of movement there, which you can probably offset so it doesn't feel so at the same time and just arms and shoulders in there. I can kind of make that a bit bigger, but you can see a little bit in the body too. So it's already a little bit of fine detail there, but then it goes into this. The only thing I would say is again, I'll probably anticipate this with a little bit of potentially a downward move on the face that then leads into this arm and then this arm doing their thing. So it's kind of like almost with that arrow down into that arm. So it's not too pose to pose, but I like that it goes straight into this where it's a nice, line of action there that I think goes into that move. I could probably, I mean, it gives her a nice bend, but if you go, I mean, it'll probably a little slight, slight move in the bend bows there, curve those arm, that arm a bit more, I would probably go a bit further out there. Gives a bit of a nicer flow into this, but it just has a nice overall flow already into that. And the thing that I really like is this here. So you have those sleepy eyes, to some degree, right? Then you got squinty eyes, squinty eyes to some degree because it's just this concentration of the eyebrows. And then because that is smaller, that gives you room to grow into this, into that bigger reaction. If you had all of this already at the beginning, it just wouldn't be the same. So that's really cute. I like that. You get a little squash and stretch in the head. And it's not just the head that reacts. It's everything in the body you can see has that slight little change. The arm goes up a bit. It's like it's <gasps> that heightened <gasps> is almost visible in the hand as the hand goes from a lower position to a higher position. So lots of little detail. That's really cool. And then it goes into, wait a minute. And like that, all of this expression changes at the end. He has that, <gasps> and let me instinctively do my move to do a change here. But then uh, you get into that nice stretch again in the face. And again, clean silhouette, clean pose like this too, where it's somewhat the same, but not really. It still has enough of a change. There's also contrast in terms of, that's not where my cursor was, where the, the height is. Let's go back here, right? So you go from this up, bam, into the other pose. We were here before, but now we're much lower. So contrast overall, not just in the pose, but in the, I mean, yes, this is a pose with the crouching, but also just visually, you are in a lower position there. And then with this, obviously in another, bam, pose, clean silhouette, going into that, which is again, all the different poses, and I love this here, that little stretchiness in here. You can see now the bimbos in full effect, that squirrel, and I love that. There's a slight twist, or slight twist, slight rotation in the body, so it's not super straight. Goes into that with a really cute expression. It's a very appealing rig. And this in real time has just that nice little contrast. So I like the 
the like, bigger move, right? <gasps> Short, big move, big move, big move. And again, the timing is different on each one of those. So it's not, it doesn't quite feel like one, two, three. You could potentially push it a bit more, so it really feels more like one, two, three, or one, two, three. It's a little bit of a bigger change, but again, big change or a big pose, big move to quick move. Lots of little things that happen here at the end for like a really nice contrast and end. And that's that. It's really cool.